Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to be talking about how to skip non-business days on our calendar. So for example, if you have an event, a recurring event that happens multiple times, and then if the, one of those instances happens to be falling on a non-business day, either a weekend or a holiday, then you don't want that event to be created on that day. And this Excel template, the Event Calendar Maker Excel template, allows you to easily do that. And in this video, I'll be explaining how that can be done. So now I have the template open and we're going to use a very simple example to illustrate this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create an event type called meeting and essentially this event type we are creating is to just to make sure that the events are shown on the calendar in a color. So I am going to assign blue color to this meeting uh, event type. And then let's say uh, we have a holiday on 15th of February. So I'm going to just type in 15th of February. And now I'm going to go and create uh, an event in the events sheet. And I'm going to call this a weekly meeting because I'm going to create uh, an event that is going to reoccur every week. So I will choose the event type to be our meeting event type. And then I'm going to make the event start from the January 1st and it goes all the way to May 5th, let's say. And we're going to have the frequency type to be weekly. And the last thing we have to do is to inform the template which day of the week is it going to happen and let's say I choose Monday. I put one in the MO column that means I've selected Monday. So this event is a weekly event that happens every Monday between January 1st and May 5th. So that is the event that we have created. So we can go and check the yearly calendar to verify this because we have 4th to all the way to May 2nd. These are all the Mondays between our start and end date. So now let's look back at our home sheet. We created 15th of February as a holiday, but you can see here that this event continues to happen on 15th of February. But in reality, I don't want this event to be happening on 15th because it's a holiday for my company or my organization and so I want that specific one instance to be not colored in blue because that is not an instance for me. So that is very easy to do using this template. So all I'm going to do is to go to the non-business days column and I'm going to say skip. So now when I go to the yearly calendar I can see that the 15th of February is no longer colored in blue. So that is how simple it is to exclude non-business days, either a weekend day or a holiday from your event instances. And you could, I used weekly as just an example, but you can do this with a monthly event or daily event or nth weekday of the month, last weekday of the month, you know, whatever the frequency type is. If you don't want that event to happen on non-business days, all you have to do is to select skip. That's it. And if you have any questions about this feature or any of the other features in this template, please leave them in the comments. I'll be very, very glad to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching this video.